Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I made the fastest possible class setup I could make in Warzone. Now I have made videos like this in the past with the VLK Rogue and the Uzi, but now they are no longer the fastest weapon you could use in Warzone. As of right now and the past couple months, the king of movement speed is the MAC-10. Also a quick side note, when I actually used to make challenge videos like this on the channel, I would utilize it as a melee weapon because that would be the whole premise of me making the video. Today I'm going to be shooting the weapon and also meleeing with it. So I did both of them so people don't actually get mad at me in the comment section. For some reason when I'd actually make those other videos, people would get really mad at me for not shooting it. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot it today. Anyways, when it comes to the attachments, I have the sound suppressor that actually doesn't do anything to your movement speed or overall mobility at all. I just put it on for having a suppressed weapon because solos can get kind of chaotic and weird if you don't have one. Next is the Tiger Team Spotlight. You definitely want to have this attachment on for overall movement speed. If you take it off, as I show you guys right there, your movement speed goes down by a lot. So definitely have that Tiger Team Spotlight on the class setup. When it comes to your next attachment, I put on the wire stock. You can also use the SAS combat stock, or if you want to make it more viable in the game in general, definitely put on the last stock, which is going to be the Raider stock. I just personally don't have either one of those unlocked, so I went ahead and went with the wire stock. And then for my next attachment, I use the speed tape, which gives you aim down sight time. And then for the last one, now this one's a toss up. You can either use the patrol grip or you can use the striker grip, depending on how you actually play Warzone. If you're going for overall movement speed, definitely put on the striker grip. But if you incorporate slide canceling into your movement, you definitely want to put on the patrol grip because you're going to be doing a whole lot more attack sprinting. And that's going to be making your overall movement faster with this extra sprint move speed. But yeah, those are the attachments I ended up using in the gameplay. If you guys have any suggestions to make the class setup better, let me know down below in the comment section. But do keep in mind that class setup was based on solos, and it's barely viable in solos. So do not try that in duos, trios, or quads, because you'll probably get your shit pushed in. Overall, the gameplay was really crazy in certain situations, so hopefully you guys do end up enjoying it, man. If you do, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes on today's video. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you could drop me a sub. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss out on the upload. Anyways, without further ado, let's go and hop to the gameplay and mess around with the setup. All right, guys, I'm landing the scavenger in downtown. Seems like there actually might be a lot of people landing there. Let's just go and detour over here. I'm not even going to worry about that. I hate landing on something where there's like a thousand people just trying to destroy you by mailing. I mean, it can be fun, but most of the time it's not fun dying instantly, bro. It's just not. And when it comes to meleeing with a pistol in this game, it is entirely up to luck. It's all about getting that nose breaker. If you can get that nose breaker, man, you are set. But anyways, today we're checking out the MAC-10 Max Mobility. Yes, a Max Mobility MAC-10 setup. And it's the fastest setup in the game. It's faster than the sticks. Every weapon you could think of is faster than. This was something I was wanting to check out before the update actually dropped and the new map came out. But I just never really got around to doing it. But I'm excited to check it out today. I'm going to use it as a melee weapon. I'm also going to shoot it. Should be good fun, man. One thing I do want to see if I can get is a riot shield so we can go straight for the restock class. But if not, then it's fine. Oh, we got self res. Not going to complain about that, though. I know some of you guys are thinking, like, didn't they take out all the Modern Warfare stuff from the loot? They did. But for some reason from chests, you can get riot shields. I don't know why, but you just can. Man, it just kind of sucks not having construction in here anymore. Okay, we got enough for the loady. Yeah, I'm just going to go and get the loady here. Someone got a bounty on me as well. Oh. Someone hit the buy station. I'm just going to get it, dude. We should be fine. There we go. He's probably moved on at this point. I guess he just pulled up and got some plates or something. Oh, there was a bounty close. I mean, there's one on that building. We got to go up top to drop down to get to it. And this lobby has died off mad quick. I guess everybody just went to Superstore and just said, screw it, right? Ooh, got a satchel too. I guess I'll just go all the way up top to this main building, or I, can, I guess I could go up here too. Uh, someone got a loady off in the distance. Yeah, let's just go up here and then we'll we'll snag up that bounty and we'll see where it takes us. But man, this Mac 10 setup just makes you feel like you're floating. It feels so much faster than the sticks. Seems like this is the guy that has a bounty on me. Yep. He's definitely underneath. Hop in the deadie. Wow, he ran away? What the heck? Yeah, the guy straight up ran away from me here. I don't get it, dude. I'd like to get a kill. I think that might be on the guy that had a bounty on me previously. All right, so I'm going to send up here for the third time already this game. <laughs> and then I'm going to fly off and try to take this dude out. He's going to 100% go there. Unless he's going to go up to the other building up top. Yeah, he rotated to the buy station. Got himself a UAV. Pretty sure there was a daddy. Oh, he got poached. Okay. 
Well, at least we know there's a guy there. And we have a daddy to work with. I'm sorry this game has been so, I guess, slow and weird. Let's see where this guy on the birthday goes first. Uh, okay, he's running the other direction. I'm going straight for this, dude. He called in his loadout and this guy got his. Where did he go? Hello? Uh, did he take the vehicle and dip? Oh, okay. Oh! Wow, dude. Okay, he backed out. Dude, I didn't know that he was gonna slither around the corner like a snake. I really didn't. So what's up with this guy in this vehicle here, bro? Oh, he jumped out. Oh. That wasn't the guy in the vehicle. That was another guy. He couldn't have gotten there that fast. There's no shot, right? Yep. Yes, we can melee him. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was here. He did the jump spot to get up top. Yo, that was chaotic. There was three people here, bro. We need to go over there and get restocked, though. That's for sure. Oh, God, dude. That scared the living shit out of me. I think he died. Whew. I thought someone just got... Oh, he just got his load out here. Oh, my... Dude, he was here to start off with. I don't even know what to say, guys. I really don't. I probably should have invested in more ammo here. Put like the 43 round drum mag on because we're actually shooting a decent amount of people here. Oh, can I not get it? Let's say. There we go. Recon inbound. All right, extra one. I guess that dude called it in from across. There's a guy up top there. He probably got out of the berth and then just went in there. Maybe we're some uneven ground. Dude, I'm not trying to do that. That was like really weird. Nope, he is up top on the roof. Oh no, he jumped off. Maybe he's going for his loadout here? Yep, he got his loadout more than likely. He is skirting, bro. Why is he running so far, bro? Oh, no way. Yeah, not gonna happen. Sorry, buddy. I was gonna try and thermite him, but I just didn't think it was worth it. This dude's heading this way. Ooh, UAV's gone now. I think he might be heading to the buy station, actually. Yep, he's going to the buy station. That's gonna be tough, because he's gonna get himself a UAV. Nope. Did he just jump off the top, or, like, what happened there? He's downed. There we go. You can try to res, but you're not going to get up. Not going to let it happen, buddy. I'm just going to call on the UAV. We'll take that. All right, let's get moving. Uh, guy down low right there. The guy's going up the stairs over here, though. Maybe we can surprise him by going up the ascent. He might be all the way up there to the ascent by the time we get there, though. Yeah, he's been zooming through these stairs 100%. Oh, whoa. Yep, there he is right there. That's gonna hurt him a bit. Why did he decide to look down right there? Is that not very odd? He's to the left. Hmm. What do we do? I just don't want him to be up top. Woo! Man. I'm just gonna go over here and get this vehicle. There's a Bertha at the buy station. That's kind of weird, right? Just a random Bertha sitting here. Okay, it's not doing the best, that's for sure. He's executed. No, he's not. Okay, now he is. 
Couldn't even see the execution, man. Couldn't even see it. The full health vehicle, as long as we don't get RPG'd, we are good to go. Uh, maybe we go for a bounty, but then again, I don't know if that's a good idea. We should probably... He's in Diner, which, I mean, is a very pushable building if we wanted to. Oh no, he went to the uh, buy station to get a UAB. Oh, he's over here, blue. Please don't have C4s. Got him. Ooh, close. Oh, dude. I'm the best. I'm the fucking best, bro. I'm the best. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about that, all right? All right, next couple kills, I'm going to try to use this thing as a melee weapon. I've been using it too much shooting-wise here. I mean, to be completely honest with you guys, it's working out pretty well, though. I can't complain so far. I definitely can't complain. There's multiple people here, bro. I don't like this. Ooh. There's a guy above me. I think he's too scared to push. He wasn't too scared. I gotta go. I gotta dip, bro. I just gotta go. We need to get to a buy station somewhere. Maybe that one? Uh, it, oh. Thought I had something else. There we go. Alright, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and reload this thing, though. I got a mean headshot on that guy. I'm surprised we made it out of that. We've got a UAV to use to take out these people that are in the airport. They're not ghosted. At least this one isn't over here straight ahead. I could probably just go over here and try and take him out real quick. I mean, he's gonna have to come this way anyway, so why are we even pushing up? That just doesn't make sense here. But I was trying to use this as a melee weapon on top of actually using it to shoot with, but the situations just haven't been the greatest for that. I'm waiting for this gas to get a little closer, and then I'm gonna call on this UAV. Recon's up. All right, okay, he's over there. He's going up top. There he is right there. Dude has a magnum, bro. If I can't melee him, I suck. Okay, we're good. Oh, whoa, yeah, he's up top of here, right? No? Maybe up top of gas? I have no idea where I just got shot from. I'm just gonna vibe here. I mean, we could push that, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Actually, that could have been somebody from Hotel that sniped at me. I kind of want to see where these next circles go. I don't want to make a, uh, a rash decision here and end up getting myself killed. Man, this part in solos, bro, it's all about patience. It really is. And that's something I struggle with sometimes because I like playing aggressive. Okay, we're set. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can get one of these buildings out there. I don't know if you can even get inside of those. It's probably best for us to just hang around here. I'm gonna let these guys pick each other off. I'm gonna play it slow. If I had a Bertha to use, I would definitely be using it, but we just don't have that luxury right now. All right, there's only four other players left. Still playing this patiently. There's definitely one in front of me. Really? Wow. I'm gonna have to make the rotation here. Let's see. Let's see where these guys are. Didn't see them there. This is really dumb, dude. I might end up getting C4. We're at the bare minimum, beamed here. I haven't. I haven't got shot, or nobody seen me at all, bro. All right. Well, nobody was in here. Okay, there's a guy. Okay, there he is, right there. He's right there on the back side of that building. Oh, someone tried to molly me. Last guy over there. Yep, there he is. He's on the ground. 
Yep, he's down. We got the dough, boys. Let's get it. Oh, whoa. We got the win. Let's get it. 14 kills, not half bad. The fastest movement speed you can use in Warzone right there, front and center. No reactions? No nothing? Everybody's cool with it? All right, we're set. <laughs> Usually people are not cool with how I play, but hey, I guess they were today. Fourth quarter shot, you know I get a ball and money in my pocket. No, I'm no stranger to ball and no, I feel a gamble, but I promise that I'm all in. Yeah.